Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at 10 settings that I believe will help you fix the battery drain issues on your iPhones. Now, of course, with iPhones, there's always complaining about the battery life. And especially with the latest 17.5.1 update, I've seen a lot of complaints by users that the battery life is actually not that good. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 settings that you need to change that I believe will help you a lot on fixing the battery drain issue on your iPhone. And we're starting things off with the refresh rate. So head on to your settings, go under accessibility, and then right here you will have motion. So you can see right here we have an option called limit frame rate. Now basically your iPhone will be at 120 frames per second if it has that feature. Of course, the newer iPhones do. If you don't have that feature, you won't see this option here at all. But if you do have that feature, you can go ahead and limit the refresh rate. And that, of course, will help you a lot on the battery drain issue. You can see if I enable this, this will limit it to 60 frames per second. The default will be 120. Now, of course, you will notice the, different, the difference here if you have used your iPhone with the 120 refresh rate, you will notice the difference here on the animation. But of course, if you're just having huge battery problems, you can always go ahead and limit this option right here and it will help you a lot. Next up are keyboard haptics. Now haptics do drain the battery a lot. When you get notifications, you get calls, you have those vibrations and all that, but most of them will be from the keyboard because if you're typing and you have haptic feedback on your keyboard, that is of course something that will drain the battery because it works a lot. All the time you're typing something and it does work all the time, that way draining the battery out of your iPhone. So head on to sounds and haptics and then scroll down here and you will find keyboard feedback. You will have sound and you will have haptic as well. So if you go ahead and disable haptic, that should help you improve the battery life of your iPhone a lot. Next up will be the always on display. Now, this is really interesting. According to Apple, the always on display will only consume 1% of battery for one hour. Of course, that doesn't seem a lot, but during the day, in 24 hours, it does consume 24% of battery. So head on to your settings under display and brightness, the always on display here. You can, of course, go ahead and completely disable it. Or if you don't want to completely disable, you can at least turn off here the wallpaper so it just shows a black screen, not the wallpaper that you have set on your iPhone. See, so, so the screen will be totally dark. The only thing you will see is your widgets and also your clock. Now there is another option here that I always dis disable once I get a new iPhone. Again, under display and brightness, it is called a rise to wake. Now this is a pretty cool option to have. What it does basically, it turns on the screen of your iPhone whenever you pick it up. You pick it up from a table, you take it out of your pocket, it will automatically turn on the screen of your iPhone. That is pretty cool, but of course it does consume a ton of battery because your iPhone has always to be ready, always looking for motion to actually turn on the screen of your iPhone. And maybe a lot of times it will just turn on the screen without you intending to do that. So what I would suggest you do, go ahead and turn off Rise to Wake from the display and brightness settings. Now, of course, one of the coolest new features of the iPhone is the new feature on AirDrop. Go to AirDrop here under the general settings and you will find bringing devices together where you can share stuff simply by placing two devices near each other. I would actually suggest that you turn this off. I keep it off. I have turned it off since I've done the update where I got this option because basically this is a feature that you will probably very rarely use. So if you have it enabled all the time when you probably don't need it, it will just consume a ton of battery. Next will be your lock screen widgets. Well, the lock screen widgets do consume a ton of battery because they need to stay, to stay updated all the time they're active. They're being updated, especially the ones that have information like this, that they need basically an internet connection to 
actually update the data that they're showing you on the lock screen these do consume a ton of battery so what i suggest you do is limit the amount of widgets that you use on your lock screen and if you have just placed them there and you don't really need them make sure you go ahead and remove them completely now of course one of the biggest battery drainers of iphones will be notifications so when you get just one notification the screen of your iphone will turn on you will get an haptic feedback and also it will play a sound and of course it also requires an internet connection to bring you that notification so what i suggest you do is limit the amount of notifications that you get on your iphone head on to settings go under notifications right here of course you will have a ton of different apps that you have installed on your iphone most likely you won't need notifications from all of these apps like you have apps like let's say like wallpaper apps or other apps that you might use sometime but you don't actually need their notifications make sure you completely turn them off and if you have apps that you want to get notifications but they are not that urgent you can always go ahead and schedule a summary right here from here you can just go ahead and add your apps to a scheduled summary and set up your summaries right here so you get the notifications one time at a day or two times out of the day not every minute getting notifications and draining the battery of your iphone also a huge role when it comes to battery drain is email go to the mail settings right here and what you will find here is your accounts so you can go to your accounts you will have all the accounts that you have added to the mail app and then you will have here fetch new data now you will have a bunch of options right here the worst will be of course push so this will just drain the battery out of your iphone one of the worst battery drainers what i would suggest you do you turn this off you can even do that one by one for each of your emails and then you can go ahead and choose here to fetch manually or maybe even hourly so one hour at a time you get basically your notifications and not have those data pushed to you because they will actually drain the battery out of your iphone next up is screen time now going to screen time right here we have a new option that apple has added with ios 17. now i like this feature it is right here screen time di screen distance but it does consume a ton of battery because your iphone will always stay scanning for your face to determine whether your iphone is close to your face or not that way of course draining a ton of battery now if you're using your iphone you probably know to keep it a bit on a distance from your face so go ahead and turn this off it will be much much better and last but not least is location services especially the services that you get right here system services so we have all the different apps right here but we also have system services now when you go to system services you will have something called significant locations this is keeping track of all the location you visit and keeping a history right there go ahead turn that off and then you will have other things here that you don't actually need like compass calibration something like maybe setting a time zone but of course they're all things that you actually need but these that you know that you don't need like iphone analytics routing and traffic right here that's probably one you want to keep on you want to also keep on find my and also emergency calls other ones that are actually not that important you can just go ahead and completely switch them off so that is it for this video guys hope you guys found this helpful hopefully it will help you improve the battery life on your iphone leave a like if you enjoyed it of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one